hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today i will not be getting on camera you're just gonna hear my voice um so there is drama with khalees and beyonce honey you know it is the day before her album released like literally hours before the album is set to come out and khalees got on instagram going off honey it's not even like I'm a human being, so I get pissed off and I get ticked off, right? I'm an artist, so I am, as Erica said, I'm sensitive about my shit. The reality is, okay, is that my real beef is not only with Beyonce, because at the end of the day, she sampled a record, she's copied me before, she's done it before, so have many other artists, it's fine, I don't care about that. The issue is, is that not only do, are we female artists, okay, black female artists in an industry that we... There's not that many of us, right? We've met each other, we know each other, we have mutual friends, it's not hard, she can contact, right? Ash Nico, who's what, 20? She's a young white girl. She reached out when she freaking, like, it's just common decency, right? It's common decency, especially because, because, as so many of you pointed out, as though I don't know, but let me help you, okay? I know what I own and what I don't own. I also know the lies that were told. I also know the things that were stolen. Publishing was stolen. People were swindled out of rights. It happens all the time, especially back then. So it's not about me being mad about Beyonce. Everyone's like, a she, you're all sheep. And I'm talking to the people who are obsessed and blind, just like, oh, oh, oh. like it's so dumb. It's so ignorant. It's so ignorant. She's one issue because it was stupid and disrespectful and she should have at least reached out. But the real issue is the fact that the people like Pharrell, and like Chad, who Chad really is like an amoeba and just he's spineless. It's a miracle he can keep his neck up. But Pharrell knows better. This is a direct hit at me. He does this stuff all the time. It's very petty. Very, very, very. And the reality is, is that it's frustrating. I have the right to be frustrated. Why? Because no one had the human decency to call and be like, yo, hey, would like to use your record. Which, by the way, the reason I'm annoyed is because I know it was on purpose. This is not like some, oh, they were in the studio. And it was great. No, no, this was an on purpose direct hit which is very passive aggressive it's very petty it's very stupid and i'm gonna say what i have to say i don't mince my words so all of you beyonce fans knock yourselves out i'm not mad like that it's not about me being jealous jealous of someone using my song that's the dumbest most ignorant thing i've ever heard like grow up i was not thinking about her or no one else not even on no shade just not thinking about living my greatest best life as i always do so it has nothing to do with that it has to do with the fact that from one artist to another you should have the decency and the common sense and the courtesy to call reach out a manager an agent anybody just be like yo heads up this is what we're thinking this is what we're doing even if you're going to do it anyway just common decency like i said it's happened before where people at least had the, the wherewithal to be like yo using your record we understand that like pharrell totally swindled you out of your stuff just want to give the respect because that's what you do right no that's not what happened so grow up okay i don't miss my words i say exactly how i feel when i feel it how i feel it I don't care who likes it or doesn't like it. It is what it is. These are facts. This is not opinion. Okay? These are facts. And, uh, you know, she threw shade to Beyonce. You know, she's copied me before. And that's when she... So we're going all the way back. So that's what made her create Bossy. You know, I'm the first girl to scream on the chat, uh, track, excuse me, after Beyonce made Ring the Alarm. And, you know, she's screaming on that song. And then, of course, we have the infamous, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss from Queen B herself. And so it's just been shade thrown over the years. So it's a known fact that either Khalees doesn't like Beyonce or they don't like each other. Because I know a lot of people are going to say Khalees is the only one bothered and Beyonce is not bothered. Now, I'm a stand of no one. I appreciate everyone's art and I enjoy music from everyone. So I'm not just going to completely jump on Beyonce's bandwagon because it's Beyonce. But um, I see a lot of people saying, you know, she went and talked to who owns the song and she gave her a credit. That's not the end all be all just giving people credit. Like if people don't want you to touch their music don't touch their music i feel like that's that's just the bottom line like yeah you gave her credit but y'all don't like each other and y'all haven't for years y'all y'all have thrown shade back and forth to each other and this could be seen as shade as well like oh you don't like me and i know you know Beyonce is seen in this light where it's like look at her life is so much better than Khalees's well I'm gonna go over your head and use your song anyway so this could very well be seen as Beyonce being messy 
but I don't know. I just I just feel like at this point, take the song off the album. Like release it, let people hear it, and then after that be like, Oh, y'all heard it, cool. You'll never hear it again. Cause Beyonce has that fucking power. Like, uh what is it? Formation tour, like it's still some shit from that that she ain't released that the people been wanting all this time. So it's just like at this point, at this point, scrap the whole fucking song. And I just learned like 30 seconds ago that the song that she sampled is Get Along With You. And that's my favorite Khalees song. So I cannot wait for this album to come out because I want to hear the song. I hope it's good. Because if it's not good, then all this hoopla is for not. And I'm like I said, I'm a fan of everyone. I'm a stan of no one because it's other Beyonce songs that I do not like that are not my favorite. So I'm not just going to agree with everything and love everything that she does. But I'm also not like going into it trying to shit on the album either, if that makes sense. So I can't wait for it to come out. I hope it's good. And Khalees, you know, she got her anger out and she probably going to go right back to her farm with her animals and her children and you know just minding her business and getting back to her life she just wanted to express her anger and her feelings and she had that right i don't agree with everybody telling her to hush and telling her to shut up just because it's beyonce because if it was anybody else people would not be feeling this way and they would literally be on her side and i that's the problem with fandom and with stands it's like if it's their quote-unquote fave there's no logic behind it and it's like you trying to talk to a illogical person it's it's never gonna come together because they're not gonna see it all they're gonna see is i love this person they can do no wrong in my eyes while that person is literally doing wrong and not saying that beyonce is wrong but you know like that's just the example that i'm using so anyway sound off in the comments let me know y'all thoughts